In this video, we'll be talking about the HeliSafe tubing kit. It's an item that's been revised and relaunched, and we'll show you how to set it up and how to utilize it the best. The HeliSafe works by employing an exclusive pressure release function. The latch leg clip will open once a fish pulls against the angler, allowing the lead to drop free. The great thing about the system, the angler can choose whether or not he or she wants to drop the lead. You simply add a little plastic collar that comes in the pack and your lead will not discharge from the HeliSafe. The conversion kit gives the angler the ability to fish a helicopter system on a tubing kit whilst retaining all the traditional aspects of a helicopter setup and you get the ability to drop the lead if you need to. Helicopter systems are known for their anti-tangle properties. You can cast a hell of a long way without that many tangles. You're also able to set your top bead exactly where you want it on your tubing and that will help your rig sit over a multitude of bottoms. For those of you that have never fished a helicopter system before, basically the top bead determines whereabouts your rig is going to settle on the tubing. Now I'm fishing a rock hard gravelly or silty area, I want my top bead fairly close to the helicopter system. That lead's not going to plug into too much, so I want it nice and tight so I get real good bite indication. If I'm fishing in, say, some low-lying silkweed, I'll probably want it two or three inches away from the helicopter system, allowing the lead to plunge into the silkweed, but my rig still fish effectively. If I was going in some heavy Canadian pond weed, so the weed was, say, a foot deep, I want to throw my top bead about two foot up the line so the lead and part of the tubing can sink into the weed but my rig still be presented on top. The solution to the problem may look very simple but a lot of thought and a lot of effort has gone in to making the HeliSafe tubing kit just right. We initially brought the product to market in 2018 but it soon came to our attention that a manufacturing problem with the top tungsten bead meant that the bead sat too tightly on the dark matter tubing. So it was back to the drawing board and now we've got a no trace bead system. Basically this system allows the rig to pass the collar and the tubing if a cut off or crack off was to occur, making it a very, very safe system. The small plug is known as the witch's hat and is located inside the heli safe. It's part of a very clever design and holds the tubing in place. When used in conjunction with an adapted HeliSafe cap featuring a hard plastic tail, this ensures the tubing can't come loose and the system works as it originally intended to. The Witch's Hat is by far the cleverest part of this product as it holds the tubing securely in place. It can be used either on our dark matter tubing or our original plastic camo tubing. So, how do we put it all together? Now I find it generally works well if I thread all the components onto the tubing before threading the main line through the tubing. First of all, I cut a length of rig tube, but make sure it's longer than your hook link. Cut the end of the tubing at an angle, take the silicon sleeve and push it on. Pull the sleeve down the rig tube five or six centimetres, giving yourself space to assemble the rest of the parts. Next, add on your chosen ring swivel. I'm using a double ring swivel. This gives the rig maximum movement. Twist and push the rig tube through the tapered sleeve. Cut the end of the tubing off square. Take the witch's hat. You will notice a bump on the tapered part. This will help lock it into the rig tube. Pull down the sleeve over the tubing. It's now time to pass your main line through the other end of the rig tube. If you feel resistance, give the line a twist and this will help it pass through the witch's hat. Add the spring, then the HeliSafe swivel casing. Now tie the HeliSafe swivel to the main line I use a grinner knot. Pull the line bringing all the components together. Finally push on the outer part that holds the lead on. Push down, twist and click into place. Add the no trace bead to the sleeve. When the sleeve is wet it will slide easily up the tubing. This is a safety feature so remember to stop the lead as it enters the water as you are feeling the lead down. This will stop from potentially knocking the no trace bead off. Add your chosen lead. I personally prefer the heli leads. Attach a rig that's shorter than the length of your rig tubing. You can use any rig you desire, a spinner rig, a multi-rig, even a standard knotless knot rig. The HeliSafe tubing kit comes with everything you need to convert two original HeliSafes to safe tubing kit alternatives. They both come in brown and green to suit most lake